Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install LSPDFR inside your GTA 5, which allows you to play GTA 5 as a police officer. Before we start with the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get started. First open the link that will be down in the description. Make sure that you have a legit copy of Grand Theft Auto 5. It doesn't matter if it is through Steam or Epic Games. When you open the link from the description, scroll down until you find this blue button that says download this file. Scroll down and click on Agree and Download. Here choose the setup file because it is a lot easier. Just click on Download. Now your download should start. When it's finished, open it. Just click on Yes. Wait for this to install. Here click on OK. Now just click on Next, then I agree. Next, and now you need to find your GTA 5 directory. It will usually be done automatically, but I'll show you how to find it. I have my game on the Steam, so I'll open the Steam. Right click on GTA 5 and then Properties. Then click on Installed Files and then Browse. And here, you'll have your GTA 5 download location. Now go back to the installation and make sure it matches. If it doesn't, just click on Browse and find the location where you have installed your GTA 5. You can just follow the location from the Steam. Now when you find the location of GTA 5, click on Install. After the installation is complete, click on Finish. Then it's going to open this screen. Here click on Next. Here make sure you click on Show License. Now it will open the Rage plugin hook. Wait for this countdown to finish. Here click on Accept. And now the green check mark will show up right here. Now click on Do It For Me. Now it will say that the LSPDFR has been installed. Click on OK. Now inside your GTA 5 directory, you'll have the Rage plugin hook file. Open it. Wait for this to install. When it opens, click on Plugins. Here make sure to click on Don't load any plugins on startup because it will prevent one of the plugins crashing your LSPDFR when you're loading up the game. Now go to Game Settings. Click on Revert Game Version. Now if this text down here is green, that means you're playing on the right version of the game and you don't have to do anything. If this text is red, you'll need to click on Verify the Integrity of Game Cache. It will take some time. After you're done, close this up and click on Back up the current version. You really want to do this because it will help you out when the game gets new updates. You'll still be able to play LSPDFR because you backed up the current version. Now wait until this finishes. Now go back to your GTA 5 directory. Find the LSPDFR folder and open it. Here, right-click on this LSPDFR file and edit it. Make sure you change this main preload all models from true to false. If it is on true, it will give you texture loss no matter how good your PC is. So make sure it is on false. Now click on file, save, and then exit out of it. Now you can click on this file named keys and you'll have all the key binds that you'll use as a police officer. So things like toggle duty, accept call out, perform arrest, and all the other ones. You can go through them and remember them, or you can take a picture of them so you can look at them while you play the game. Now you want to exit out of that and go back to Rage Plug and Hook. Now just click on Save and Launch. Click on OK. Now just wait for it to load. Every time you want to play LSPDFR, find the Rage Plug and Hook file inside your GTA 5 directory and run it. You can make a shortcut on your desktop so you don't have to open your GTA 5 directory every time. I'll get back to you when the game loads up. Now when your game loads up, open your map. If you don't have a star next to a police station, that means your LSPDFR is not loaded. All you have to do is click F4 on your keyboard, which will open up the console. In the console, type in Reload All, and you'll see that this Reload All Plugins option shows up. Just click on Tab and then Enter. Now you'll need to wait some time for LSPDFR to load. And now when the LSPDFR loads up, click on F4 to close the console. Now when you open up the map, you'll see you have this police badge next to a police station. That means your LSPDFR loaded up. Now just open your console again by clicking F4 and type go to PD as one word. Again, you can just click on tab and then enter. Now click on F4 and as you can see, you'll be teleported to the police station. Now enter the police station and go into this room. Now walk in this blue circle and click E on your keyboard. Here click on Go on Duty. Wait for it to load. Now you'll need to create your character just like in GTA Online. I'll get back to you when I'm finished. Now click on Police Locker and choose your agency, outfit, and inventory. After you're done, click on Confirm. 
Now click on Police Garage and choose a vehicle you want. You can add modifications to it if you want. After you're done, click on Select and Continue. And now you're officially a cop in GTA 5. If you want to take calls, press the letter M on your keyboard. Then click on Police Radio. Make sure that Available for Calls is on Yes. If you want to request a call, you can just click on Request a Call. Then if you want to take the call, just press Y on your keyboard. And now you'll have a GPS on your map that leads you to that call. You can find the key binds for all the actions in the keys file that I mentioned earlier. So for example, if you want to call for backup, you can click on B on the keyboard. And now you can play the GTA 5 as a police officer. Officer. And that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. If you find the video useful, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.